Good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully it's sunny where you are. It's beautiful where I am. Um, today we are looking at uh, modelling compound interest investments with additions to the principal. Okay, so we invest some money and we also add money to it. So that money is making money from the bank, but we get paid every week and put a bit aside. So add that to whatever we are doing. So this one might relate to a few of you. Nor, plan, nor plans to travel overseas when she finishes VCE. She's saved $1,200, which will probably get you halfway across the Pacific, um, and thinks that she can save an additional $50 each month that she plans to add to her savings account. The account pays interest at a rate of 3% per annum. Key part here is it's compounding monthly. And we're asked to model this. All right, so we're just setting up the recurrence relation to show what's happening here. All right, so first off, we've got, as per standard, if you've watched some of the other videos, previous videos for a recurrence relation, we've got VO or V0, which is the principal, your starting value. Then the rest of the recurrence relation um, is made up of the rate of change times whatever the previous value was um, plus D. So D is the constant change, a common difference every time. It doesn't change. That value doesn't change, sorry, so it's an absolute value. All right, so we can write that as start it with VO is equal to the principal, which NOR's putting in $1,200, $1,200, and VN plus one is equal to R. Now, R is going to be our interest rate. divided by 12 because it's applied monthly over 100. Okay. So hopefully we know that 3 over 12 is the same as a quarter or 0.25. That's all over 100, which is 0. 0.0025. Now this is going up, okay? So the thing that I didn't put in there, which I probably should have initially, it's not gonna help us, is in here, we need to put in our one plus. Okay, so I'll pop that in there, put it in red just to make a note of it, make that look like a plus and not some weird Cartesian plane. And go back up to my blue. Didn't work. So we've got 1.0025 as our R value. So 1.0025 times VN and every month nor is going to be able to pay in an extra fifty dollars okay so that there is our recurrence relation okay hopefully that's pretty easy by now next one is going to be looking at um the next video we'll look at how to apply that recurrence relation um, and use the recurrence relation Okay, I'll see you next time guys. Click subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you thought it was useful. Bye.